In the environment and energy management market, oftentimes customers enter the market and start to say, where can I find cost savings? How can I find brand management? How can I ensure risk mitigation? The reality is that the beginning of that journey starts with understanding and articulating a process that exists within your organization. Very similar to how people management started, you started with the notion of an end-to-end -end business process. We used to call it back then, hire to retire. The notion of, as a person entered my organization, I evolved them, and eventually when they left the organization, I knew about it. The same is gonna hold true for how energy, water, and natural resources enter an organization. Hurrah calls this business process report to reduce. The notion of first articulating and archiving all of the new energy, water, and natural resources that enter the organization and identifying ways to actually reduce our dependence or consumption of those resources over time. It's an evolutionary business process that helps you discover your footprint, plan your activities for reduction, drive action using alternative energy technologies or energy efficiency tricks, and then lastly, innovation, continuing to evolve the business process so that you become a world leader around the business process of environment and energy management. So the post-carbon economy actually represents the third trend over the last two decades. The first trend was the internet, the notion of unbundling information on a global basis. The second major trend we saw was outsourcing and offshoring, right? Taking a business process and moving it from Indianapolis to India. The third trend is the post-carbon economy trend. The notion that organizations will actually start to look at natural resource consumption and begin to change their business processes to become better corporations going forward. Because once carbon is priced, the way we do business fundamentally changes. The Dow 30 will change in the post-carbon economy based on five major trends that companies embrace. The first is the value chain transparency, the ability to see upstream to its supply chain as well as downstream to its retailers and being able to engage customers in a more natural, resource-constrained way. Secondarily, it's optimization of alternative energy technologies. Organizations that seek out and embrace new alternative energy technologies that get rolled out will be leaders. Thirdly is this notion of sustainable operators. Sustainable operators are different from sustainable officers. These are individuals that own supply chain, own manufacturing, own finance, but also do their job with sustainability in mind, make business decisions and judgments based on the fact that they not only have to drive profitability, but they also have to drive sustainability. Fourth is the leveraging of carbon budgets. The notion of financial budgets has been around since companies went public. Now the focus is on natural resources and energy. And the fundamental easiest way to do this is to start allocating carbon budgets across organizations. The natural transformation is that what gets measured gets better managed. Lastly and most importantly, this is not about a cost issue only. Organizations that will be in the next Dow 30 will be those that have embraced sustainability through top line growth. They will see their organizations gain revenue and profit and market share based on their ability to leverage sustainability and natural resources.